Coach Corey Ween, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, well, it's not fair to you. I've got an email here from a viewer. He says, hey, Corey, you've helped me out so much, and I found the girl of my dreams. We started dating a few months back, and I'm absolutely in love with her. Unfortunately, she has told me she's not ready for a relationship right now because she is trying to get her life in order after a severe loss to the family. So what that statement tells me is that instead of hanging out, having fun, and hooking up with this girl, you got too serious too soon, tried to rush her to the relationship finish line or the imaginary relationship finish line that you thought you had to get to into your head. And the real reason that she dumped you is not, I mean, yeah, there's obviously stuff going on with her family, but the real reason is that Instead of her just being able to go, go out and hang out with you and kind of escape from her life and have a great time, it just you're actually bringing more drama into her life, meaning she's always tossing around with the emotions and the fact that you're obviously too eager, over-pursuing, over-chasing too much. And so that's the real reason that she dumped you, is that you, in essence, have lowered her interest. These are just the excuses that she gives you as to why she's doing it. It's kind of like the, it's not you, it's me. In reality, what they're really saying, well, it's you, you've turned me off to the point where I just don't want to date you anymore. And that's basically what's going on here. You're totally head over heels in love with this girl, but you're ignoring the fact that she pretty much doesn't want anything to do with you, and you're buying her excuses as the real reason why she's into your relationship, when in reality, the, re the reason that she ended the relationship is because you did more things wrong than right, in other words, you did too many things that turned her off and ruined attraction as opposed to doing things that drew her to you. Because if you've been dating for several months and been doing the things that I talk about in my book, she should be pretty much in love with you. And if she's going through a difficult time, you'd be her rock, you'd be her mountain, and she'd want to have you there to help her through this difficult time. But like I said, the reason she dumped you is just because you didn't treat her properly. Because if you're like most guys, you just simply didn't know what to do in order to create attraction and cause her to fall in love with you slowly over time. <clears throat> Probably watch too many TV shows and movies that basically teach if you act like a stalker and you smother a woman and you just push her kicking and screaming to the altar, she'll decide that she's head over heels in love with you and want to be with you the rest of her life. He says, she tells me that she loves me and she's in love with me and cares about me a lot, but it's not fair to me to be in something she's not ready for. I want to be with this girl more than anything. Well, that's a obvious, but you're ignoring the fact that she just ain't feeling it because you're projecting all of your high level of attraction onto her and assuming she feels the same way. He says, she really means the world to me. What do you suggest I do? I've been trying to give her space to figure things out. In other words, you're saying, I've been trying to give her space. In other words, but you're not doing a very good job of it. But you're still pursuing, is in essence, what you're telling me. You're like, I'm trying to hang back, but I can't help myself. And I keep calling her and texting her, blowing up her phone, trying to act like a stalker, hoping she'll want to take me back. And you're obviously getting nowhere. He says, I can't stop thinking about her and I don't want to go out with my buddies to stay busy because I'm so upset I am not with her. Well, the bottom line is you're not with her. And when we want reality to be other than it is, we suffer. And so you're suffering unnecessarily. You're sitting at home and feeling sorry for yourself that you're not with this girl. Yeah, that's fine to do that and everything. And you got to feel it to heal it. But to just take yourself out of the game and to stop living your life... I mean, you got to look at how were you before you met this girl. You should have been living your life, pursuing your purpose, pursuing your career, focusing on your business, your dreams, your goals, those kinds of things. But instead, this girl comes into your life and you, your life basically comes to a complete halt because she's not acting the way you want her to act. She's not contributing, giving to you in the way that you want her to be giving to you. And instead of looking at yourself and acting like a guy who perceives himself as a catch, which you'd just say, hey, well, I can understand if you're going through a tough time, you know, give me a call if it doesn't work out. I'd love to see you. And that's all you got to do is walk away. But you're continuing to pursue thinking that it's going to cause her to fall in love with you when all it's really doing is driving the two of you further and further apart. 
He says, what's something I could do to get the girl of my dreams back in my life? Nothing. That's the problem. You've done too much. You have fallen under what I like to call the illusion of action, thinking you have to continually do or say things to get this girl to want you. She broke up with you. She dumped you because you basically smothered her and you wouldn't give her her space. you got to love the other person in such a way that they feel free. And the way you love this girl is you basically made her feel like a prisoner and made her feel like she's losing her identity and who she was in order to be what you want her to be. And it's obvious based on what she said and what she's done that she simply is not at a place emotionally where she feels like she wants to be in a relationship with you. And so, therefore, she doesn't want to be with you. So the only thing that you can do in this particular instance is obviously read my book so you can learn where you've been going wrong and cut out all this needy, chasing behavior that's simply driving this girl away. Walk away and never look back. And when you hear from her, if you hear from her, if she calls you, hey, honey, great to hear from you. I'd love to see you. When are you free to get together? Wednesday? Great. How about I? You can pick her up. You can have her meet. You know, if this girl has dumped you, and just say, hey, well, I'm kind of busy. I've been slammed all week, and so I'm pretty run down and tired. I'm just kind of in the mood to hang tonight. But why don't you grab a bottle of wine and come on over to my place? We'll make dinner together. We'll do something just really casual and chill. Yeah, great. Make plans and say, well, you grab a bottle of wine, I'll take care of the food, and we'll cook something together. And that's it. Get off the phone, make definite plans, and then when she comes over, hang out, have fun, and hook up. When she comes over, don't sit there and, and try to be like her therapist and get her to talk about all of her problems and all the bad things that are going on in her life because all it's going to do is emotionally make her feel like shit and remind her of all those problems, and she's going to associate you with feeling like shit emotionally, the kind of stuff that she would feel for her therapist. What you really want to do is when she's with you, you just hang out, and if she brings up the stuff about the relationship and getting back together or blah, 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 or whatever, just listen to her and say, what do you mean? Tell me more. Don't leave anything out. And let her talk about it. And if she talks like you're smothering her and you try to move things along, just say, hey, let's not worry about it. You were going through a tough time in your life, so let's just focus on having a great time tonight. Would you like some more wine? <laughs> you just pour some more in your glass and just go back to having fun. Hang out, have fun, and hook up. And at some point in the evening when you guys are joking and laughing, you just say to her, I think you just need to get it over to come over here and kiss me. And say that to her. And then make a move on her. And then eventually you lead her, generally lead her into the bedroom and you seduce her. And she may stay the night or she may leave. Whatever happens, just say, hey, call me later when she leaves. Just say that, call me later. Let her walk out the door. And don't do anything. Don't call her. Don't pursue her. Don't do nothing. Because then what you'll do is you'll allow this person, this woman, to come back at, towards you at her own pace if you've got a chance. Obviously, if you've completely ruined it and she wants nothing to do with you, you'll never hear from this girl again. But if you still got a chance, maybe a few weeks from now or whatever, she'll start calling you. And just when she does reach out to you, just assume that she's doing it because she wants to get together and hang out. So hang out, have fun, and hook up. That's all you need to do. And in the meantime, don't call her. Start dating other girls, go out with your friends, get back to enjoying your life because that's what caused her to fall for you initially is that you were a dude who was busy, he had a busy social life, he had a lot of shit going on and then when you got into a relationship with her, you just pretty much blew off your whole life and your friends and you stopped being who you were and it was one of the things that led to her dumping you and giving you this BS excuse when in reality it was your behavior that turned her off. So you got to clean up your act and say, well, gee, how... How do you know that, Corey? Well, because you're the one that got dumped. If you'd been treating her properly, she wouldn't have dumped you. Now, if you'd have been the one dumping her, she would have been the one writing this email. So, obviously, I know that you're the one that screwed up. So, when you read my book, it'll tell you, you'll, the light bulbs will go off, you'll be able to figure out exactly where you've been going wrong. So, if you have a question, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which will be on the left-hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs max, and just give me several weeks to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which will be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook, on my website underneath the email sign-up box is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device, just download one of their free e-reader apps for whatever electronic device you want to read my book on. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters, the articles on my website, or my ebook, 
You can show your appreciation by going to my website right now and on the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.